determine the radius of the round strut so that the round and square struts have the same cross-sectional area and compute the critical load for each. Use an elastic modulus of 200 gigapascals. This is the third example for the column buckling main video. The link to that 10 minute video and the other 2 minute examples are found in the description below. If we want both struts to have the same cross section area, we need the area of a circle to be equal to the area of a square. With a side of 25 millimeters, the diameter of the round strut should be 28.2 millimeters. This means that the radius is 14.1 millimeters. The critical load will be given by the Euler's formula we derived in the main video, where the effective length is just the length for both cases, since these are pinned pinned columns. This means that the only variable we need to calculate is the second moment of area for a circular cross section in the first case and for a square cross section in the second case. Substituting the values, we find that the critical load for the round strut is 61.4 kN and 64.3 kN for the square strut. The links to the main 10 minute videos of the other topics of the Mechanics of Materials course, as well as the other examples of column buckling, are found in the description below, so don't forget to check those out. Thanks for watching.